Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech World with Sahana. In today's video, we are diving into one of the most essential tools in DevOps world, Jenkins. I will break it down in a super simple and beginner friendly way, perfect for freshers and anyone switching to DevOps career. We will cover what Jenkins is, real world organizational level analogy, why we need Jenkins, workflow, how Jenkins plays certain role in CICD, and stay tuned till the end. I will also walk you through 25 real time Jenkins interview questions with expert level answers to help you confidently crack your next DevOps interview. So let's start with what is Jenkins. Jenkins is an open source automation server. That simply means it helps you automate tasks like building your code, testing it and deploying it. The biggest reason people love Jenkins is because it supports something called CICD, which stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery. Think of Jenkins like your smart assistant. Once you set up, it watches your code and whenever there's a change, it goes into action. Now let's look at Jenkins from a real world organization's perspective. Imagine you are a part of a software company with multiple teams, developers, testers, DevOps engineers. Without Jenkins, every time a developer pushes a code, someone has to manually pull the latest code, compile it, run test, package it, and deploy it to staging or production servers. Now imagine this happening multiple times a day across multiple teams. It becomes slow, error prone and chaotic. Now enter Jenkins. With Jenkins in place, the entire process is automated. As soon as the code is pushed, Jenkins picks it up, runs unit tests, builds the application, notifies the team if something breaks and even deploys it automatically if everything passes. It acts as a central automation engine that ensures consistency, speed and reliability across the organization, no matter how many teams are working on the product. That's why Jenkins is a critical part of modern software delivery in larger companies. Now, you might ask, why do I even need Jenkins? Here's why. It saves time by automating repetitive tasks. It reduces human error. It gives you instant feedback when something goes wrong. And it helps team release software faster and more reliably. And the best part, Jenkins is free and open source. Anyone can use it. And it works with almost every tool out there. GitHub, Docker, Kubernetes, you name it. Now let's walk through a basic Jenkins workflow. A developer pushes the code to GitHub. Jenkins sees the change. It automatically pulls the code, runs test, builds the application, and maybe even deploys it to a lower environment such as test or stage, as production is often done manually for its critical nature. And guess what? If any of these steps fail, Jenkins sends you an alert through email or Slack. It's like having a 24-7 quality control system for your software. When you log into Jenkins, you will see a dashboard. From there, you can create and manage jobs called pipelines, monitor build history, check logs, and install plugins. Yes. Jenkins has thousands of plugins. You can integrate with tools like Git, Maven, Gradle, Docker, Kubernetes, Slacks, and many more. This makes Jenkins super flexible. In real world DevOps projects, Jenkins plays a central role. Let's say you are building a web application. Every time you commit a code, Jenkins runs your unit test, if everything passes, it builds a Docker image. Then it pushes that image to a container registry. Then it deploys it 
to a Kubernetes cluster. All of this can happen automatically with Jenkins. That's the power of automation. So let's recap. Jenkins is a powerful automation tool. It supports CI CD pipeline. It's open source, flexible, and used by teams all over the world. It saves time, reduces errors, and speeds up software delivery. Now let's discuss 25 basic Jenkins QA. Number one. What is Jenkins? Jenkins is an open source automation server used to automate parts of the software development process, primarily CI-CD. It helps developer build, test and deploy applications consistently and efficiently. Number two, what is CI-CD in Jenkins? CI-CD stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. Jenkins automates these stages by integrating code changes frequently, testing them automatically and deploying build to environments with minimal manual intervention. Number three, Gen is Jenkins free to use? Yes, Jenkins is completely free and open source. It's maintained by the Jenkins community and supported by a huge ecosystem of plugins. Number four, what language is Jenkins written in? Jenkins is primarily written in Java and runs on any platform with Java runtime environment. Number five, what are Jenkins jobs or projects? Jenkins jobs, also called projects, are unit of work. A job defines a task like pulling code from Git, compiling it, running tests, and deploying to a server. Each job can be triggered manually or automatically. Number six, what is Jenkins pipeline? A pipeline in Jenkins defines the entire CI-CD process as code using DSL called Groovy. Pipelines allow better version control, reuse, and scalability compared to traditional freestyle jobs. Number seven, what are the different types of Jenkins pipeline? There are two types, declarative pipeline, which are simple structured syntax, scripted pipeline, more flexible and written fully in Groovy. Number eight, how does Jenkins detect code changes in GitHub or GitLab? Jenkins can pull the SCM periodically or more efficiently. It can receive webhooks from GitHub or GitLab triggering jobs as soon as code is pushed. Number nine, what is a Jenkins plugin? Why are they important? Plugins extend Jenkins core functionality. They allow integration with tools like Git, Docker, Maven, Slack, and Kubernetes. Jenkins without plugins is very limited. Number 10. Can Jenkins be used with Docker and Kubernetes? Absolutely. Jenkins can build Docker images, run builds inside Docker containers, and deploy applications to Kubernetes clusters using plugins like Docker, Kubernetes, CLI, and Helm. Number 11. What is a Jenkins file? A Jenkins file is a text file that stores the pipeline as code. It defines stages and steps of a build and is usually kept in the root of the project's repository. Number 12. What is the difference between a freestyle project and pipeline project in Jenkins? Freestyle projects are GUI based and limited in flexibility. Pipeline projects are defined as code using Jenkins file and are more scalable and support advanced features like parallel execution and environment management. Number 13. How does Jenkins notify users of build status or failures? Jenkins can send notifications via email, Slack, Microsoft Teams or any messaging platforms using plugins. 
you can configure alerts on build success failure or unstable builds number 40 where does jenkins stores build logs and history jenkins stores build logs and history on the local file system under jenkins home directory each job has its own folder containing logs and metadata number 15 how do you secure jenkins at a basic level we secure jenkins by enabling authentication like using local or external identity providers setting rbac role based access control uh, securing credentials with credential plugin and enabling https number 16 what are the system requirements to install jenkins Jenkins requires Java JDK 8 or later and can run on Windows, Linux or Mac OS. It also needs enough CPU and memory depending on the build load. Number 17. How can Jenkins be installed? Jenkins can be installed using native OS packages, Docker or as a var file on a servlet container like Tomcat. Number 18. What is Jenkins home directory? The Jenkins home directory is where Jenkins stores all the configurations, job data, build history and plugin settings. Number 19. What is an agent or slave in Jenkins? Agents which are formally called slaves are machines that Jenkins uses to run jobs. This helps scale build workloads across multiple environments number 20 what is the master agent architecture in jenkins jenkins has a master agent model where master coordinates job scheduling and the agent executes the job this improves performance and isolation number 21 can jenkins run parallel jobs yes With pipeline syntax and sufficient agent Jenkins can run multiple jobs or even parallel steps within the same job. 22 How do you trigger a Jenkins job manually and automatically? Manually through the Jenkins UI and automatically using triggers like SCM polling, webhooks, crons like schedules or upstream job completion. Number 23 What are parameters in Jenkins job Parameters allow users to pass dynamic values to a job at runtime like environment name branch names or version Number 24 What happens when a Jenkins build fails Jenkins marks the job build as failed record logs and can notify teams It can also perform post build actions like clean up or roll back. Number 25. Can Jenkins deploy applications? Yes, Jenkins can deploy applications to servers, cloud environments or containers as a part of the pipeline using plugins or shell or ansible scripts. So that is it for today. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below any questions you have on Jenkins and click the bell icon so you don't miss what's coming next. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.